your Roland VersaWorks to be able to print and cut out your graphics um, for your design. Um, so if you want to learn how to get your cut contour and your um, pre-cut contour, which is the perforated cut contour um, lines, um, in your Corel Draw X6, X4, X5, X6 and up, um, stay tuned. Alright guys, so as you could see here, what I did was just kind of do a demonstration um, of my um, cut contour line and my perf, which is perforated um, cut contour line. So here it is, I just kind of like label it for you. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to start a new job. Alright, let's get it started. So new fresh sheet. Alright get that process going all right so what we're gonna do like I said this is how to create a cut contour and a perf cut contour um, in your Corel draw x6 for your Roland VersaWorks um, I do believe you could do the same for other programs um, that you know for other printing machines uh, but I'm just doing the one for Roland VersaWorks so um, like I said, if you look over to my right here, I already have my cut lines. I have the cut contour and I have the perf cut contour. Um, and of course you see one is magenta, one is blue. Um, typically the color that uh, people use when they're creating cut or perf contour lines. So um, let's get started. I'm going to show you from scratch how to um, how to create that so what we're gonna do we're gonna go over to the right here and we're gonna click on this black arrow at the top and then we're gonna go to palette and we're gonna say new once that opens as you can see here um, I name it roll and cut color um, let's see Maybe uh, let's name it something else just for the heck of it, just so that, because I'm going to have to go ahead and delete it back out. So we're going to do rolling, and we're going to just name it cut contour color, just so that I could go back out and delete it out afterwards. And then you will hit save. Alright, so as you can see that we have the new um, row here for your color palette. So you're going to click the, the arrow on the top here and you're going to hit edit color and then we're going to go ahead and add color. The first color we're going to add is our um, cut contour, um, which I'm going to go ahead and use magenta and then we're going to hit OK. We're going to add that. Then the second color I'm going to add is my perf cut and what I'm going to use for that is the scion and we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit okay all right now if you notice we have both colors my um, cut contour which represents magenta and my perf perforation contour cut contour represent by scion so what we're going to do we're going to change the name so instead of having it magenta we're going to change the name and guys you got to put it in exactly the way I, I type it in capital P I mean capital C for cut so C U T capital C O N T O R T O oh gosh well I can't spell right now T O U R for contour and then uh, don't come for me now um, then you change your treat has to spot and if you check here you see a little dot right here um, and it's changed you see the name is also changed to cut contour you're gonna hit OK Ooh, I should have never hit OK
So I should have never hit OK because I'm trying to do both colors at the same time. So I'm just going to click back on the arrow. We're just going to hit Edit Color. Now we're going to do the Scion. Okay. And for the Scion, like I said, we're going to do Perf Cut. P, capital P, E, R, capital C, U, T, capital C, O, M, T, O, R. And then once again, we're going to change this from process to spot. And then we're going to hit OK. And as you can see, it's it's there showing that it's changed. And we're just going to hit OK. So if you notice, they're both looking exactly the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it out. So let's test it out. Uh, we're going to test out the... Um, the cut contour and we're going to test out the perf contour cut contour um so let's just get a circle why not just like i had at the beginning we're going to use a shape of a circle and we're going to draw uh, a circle oops a oval a circle all right we're going to do a circle all right, so for that, we're going to um, change this circle to a cut contour. Okay, so this circle, it, we're going to represent it. It's going to represent the fact that we're putting this around an object that is round. Okay, so um, to do so, we're not going to left click. We're going to right click. And as you see, it changed the color. If you happen to, let's go back, if you happen to left click, that's what will happen. And that's a no-no. We don't want that. We want it to be a cut um, line, so we're going to right click. All right, so now we're going to do the perf. And we're going to take it right over here. So this is going to represent a perf cut for... Um, what you call this? A square? Yeah, square. <laughs> Look at that. I don't remember. Um, for a square. So what you do once again, you would right click, and as you can see, it turns cyan. Okay. Remember, left click will cause this. Right click will make the line. So let's go back out. Let's take it back up a little bit. So this is exactly what we want to to leave with so once again guys like I said this could work for I'm doing this for rolling versa works um, I am sure this is what you need for other printers to be able to cut however I am doing this one for rolling versa works and I am doing this for home and student Corel draw x6 can be used for X4, X5, um, X6, X7, and above. Um, so if you, I personally will say, if you have this software already, I wouldn't, um, you know, buy the the um, the subscription because every year you'd have to pay for that. But that's up to you. Um, of course, there's enhanced fonts and stuff that will be on the newer version. But if you're only really using it to be able to cut, create cut line or perf line for your Roland Versa Works or other printers, I don't see the need to get a subscription software. So, so that's it. Once again, thank you for watching Miss Shuggy Lovecraft. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.